I, 34F, made a mistake picking my husband, 32M. I'm stuck. What do I do? I've been married for almost two years. I am currently 10 weeks pregnant. When I first met my husband we had fun together. We were best friends. He had a few things that I didn't love but no one is perfect. Unfortunately over time, things have gotten worse as more of his true self has shown. He hasn't worked in 1.5 years. He does not get along with any neighbor or person we have to interact with. He has extreme paranoia about the oddest things which contributes to this. For instance, we viewed a home that was for rent. The landlord kept mentioning the home being large and mentioned he could have someone stop by to take care of the yard so we didn't have to deal with it if we wanted to rent it. My husband was convinced that the man was saying he has large genitals and was trying to imply he was coming to the house to take care of me. Like what? We got in a huge argument about it. We have moved 15 times in two years including nine states because he is unhappy everywhere. He has me quit jobs all the time because he thinks everyone I work with is trying to have sex with me. I've never cheated and gave zero indication of anything like that. I'm a healthcare executive and work with mostly females. Since him I have failed to grow in my career after building an amazing career before him. I've given up a lot while he throws tantrums unless he can buy designer brands and jewelry. My car window has needed repaired for a year but he won't help me with that. When his car had issues I'm supposed to find someone and have it fixed right away. Today was the final straw. There was a veterans event going on nearby. He drove by twice blasting music and revving his car. He kept laughing about interrupting them. He is black but calls other black people the n-word hard r. He also calls other races names. He doesn't like people with disabilities either. I was so embarrassed. Before him I owned a home, had a career, and lots of friends. I hosted nice events, drove a beautiful car, took trips, and really enjoyed my life. Now I financially struggle, I'm not allowed to have friends, I am not even allowed to wear certain clothes. I just can't take it. He is rude and disgusting. Peeing in bottles and leaving them in the bedroom even though the bathroom is attached. Burping and farting even though he knows I'm severely nauseous now. Then gets mad if I vomit. I just want to leave. I have no money and nowhere to go. What am I supposed to do? You sound like a smart, capable woman. You can't keep allowing him to destroy your self-esteem and your life trajectory. Please please consider leaving. You can do it. He. I am a woman going through slightly similar experience with my husband. Always accused me of cheating, I work healthcare as well, got jealous of other guys who just simply talk to me. I've lost jobs because of him, friends. I finally left. It was super hard the first two weeks but I'm a month in and never looking back. These men will continue to hold you back and ruin your life. Leave. It's better on the other side. Get an abortion and run. Abusers only show who they are when they feel you're stuck. There will be a time when your ob will ask or have you answer questions about being safe at home. Answer this question honestly. They will also find a way to get him out of there to talk to you and get you started. 10 weeks. Honestly, as difficult as it may be. I terminate the pregnancy and the marriage. You know your marriage is going to end, so do you want to compare it with this person? Just do it. Before him I owned a home, had a career, and lots of friends. I hosted nice events, drove a beautiful car, took trips, and really enjoyed my life. Now I financially struggle, I'm not allowed to have friends, I am not even allowed to wear certain clothes. I just can't take it. Money might be tight for a while and you may struggle some but the sheer utter relief you will feel by having this toxic abuser out of your life will make it so worthwhile. It's going to feel like heaven in comparison. I wish you a happy future without this albatross of a man. I, 19M, gave oral to my girlfriend, 20F, on her period, did I do anything wrong? So some context, I'm extremely clueless when it comes to women. I used to go to an all-boys high school and my girlfriend is the first girl that I've ever been with. I am genuinely extremely clueless when it comes to what to do in the bedroom and all my knowledge, which I know is highly skewed, wrong, comes from porn. My girlfriend mentioned that she was on her period and we began getting intimate I put my fingers on her nether regions, and she said something along the lines of, did you forget that I'm on my period?
so I stopped and we just continued making out. However things got very intimate and I got carried away and proceeded to give her oral. She just asked me if I was sure and I said yes, and I asked her if I could and she said yes. There was no blood and everything just seemed normal. Rather, I couldn't see if there was blood. From what she was saying as well as what she was doing she seemed to have definitely enjoyed it. So now I'm just wondering, is there perhaps a reason she didn't want me to give her oral or asked me if I was sure I wanted to? Trust me, you are going to go far in this life with your sex positive attitude, my friend. Good on you for taking the risk. Also fun fact, orgasms help relieve menstrual pain. 30M here. As someone very versed in relationship and sex psychology I hope you feel like you can trust my input. There is absolutely nothing wrong with what you did. As long as you feel like you can trust your partner, you feel safe, and she feels the same you can try anything and everything that excites you. Keep in mind that some sexual positions can be dangerous. The reason she may have seemed reluctant is because many other men are unfairly grossed out by a woman's period which often results in them feeling shameful about their bodies and their body's natural processes. Your innocence is likely a bit of fresh air for your partner. Woman here. I can't speak for anyone else but when I get turned on, my period kinda pauses. When the sexy wet comes, the period hangs back. I think that's why you didn't see any blood. If you don't mind doing it then just reassure her and jam on. Congrats on your red wings. A true pirate sails the Red Sea. And a true sailor knows his way through the muddy rivers. Totally good sweet pea. It's really really nice that you didn't create any shame about it for her. Like wow 5 stars honestly. You did everything perfectly. Congrats on your red wings brother. You just proved yourself more of a man than most. She just didn't want you to get grossed out. If she's happy be happy with yourself. My husband won't consider being sterilized, he wants me to do it instead. Is this fair? 32F and 37M. Me 32F and my other half 37M just had a baby this week. We've been together for 11 years now and this baby is our second child. In fairness, I'm medically incapable of having more children, to term. I can physically get pregnant but I can't give birth again. We decided that we were okay with two kids and that this would be our last. My doctor asked me a few weeks ago, whether I wanted to be sterilized as they'd be opening me up anyway during a C-section. My husband and I talked this over and he said that it was a good idea. I was hesitant but I think just for practical reasons sterilization was for the best. I agreed, and we signed off on sterilization. However, due to the previously mentioned medical issue, I started bleeding at 37 weeks and my baby had to be born on an emergency basis. During an emergency C-section, they do not perform sterilization as it's done for life-saving reasons. The doctors made it clear to me afterwards that I would need to essentially triple up on contraceptive measures until I could get the surgery done which may be a very long wait. Sterilization during C-section is quite a lot better at preventing pregnancies, as the one where you get just the sterilization surgery alone is keyhole surgery. It has higher rates of ectopic pregnancy. The thought hadn't crossed my mind but my husband's grandmother was visiting and she said, Op has given you two children. She's had major surgery for you twice now. Why don't you get the sterilization surgery? The midwife was present during this and spoke about how much faster it could be done for men than women and how I'd had quite invasive surgeries and another. Even if minor surgery, I would be looking at a much longer recovery time than most. In total, I've had major surgery on my abdomen area six times throughout my life. My husband said there's no way he's having sterilization surgery. He didn't even want to discuss it. However, he still wanted to discuss me having the surgery, and still wanted me to have the surgery. He kept saying that it's different for a man. I feel like he's not being fair, especially when I've had to be cut open twice already for our kids. I spend the pregnancies with hyperemesis gravidarum, so 9 months of dehydration caused by being unable to go 30 minutes without vomiting. I don't understand why he won't even talk about it, but I'm also worried that he doesn't want to do it because he wants to have a fallback card in his pocket in case we separate, so that he can have kids with another woman. I don't know whether I'm being inconsiderate since technically, it is me who shouldn't get pregnant, not him. Part of me wishes that we could go through this together though. I'm really confused by this. Well, it's time to stop fucking him.
Yeah, it's different for a man vasectomy is a day procedure with much faster recovery time than a woman's sterilization. Is he just trying to have a backup plan if your relationship fails, or something? Of course it's not fair. But your husband is right about it being different for a man. It's much, much easier and less physically invasive for a man. Your husband doesn't want to talk about it because he doesn't want to admit how selfish he is. Personally I wouldn't trust him to use birth control effectively. Protect yourself. He kept saying that it's different for a man. Well, yeah. For a man, it's not abdominal surgery. There aren't eight layers of tissue to cut through. It takes half an hour tops, and it's usually reversible. It is different for a man. As in, it's significantly easier, cheaper, faster, and heals better. It is a concerning sign he won't get sterilized. He should be more concerned about your health than he currently is. What a selfish prick. I'm on our last pregnancy. Do you know what my husband said about it? I guess after you're recovered I'll schedule a vasectomy. You've done so much for our family, and it's my turn to do something even if it can never compare to everything you've been through. How do I, 30M, very gently encourage my girlfriend, 30F, to more thoroughly wash her butt? I hate asking this question, but I'm feeling stuck. When my girlfriend and I have sex with me behind, a position we both really enjoy, it smells bad to the point of me not wanting to do it in that position. I know some smell is expected and wouldn't bother me, I promise I have realistic expectations. Sometimes we'll shower together, so I'll always offer to help wash her, and I really get the soap up in there, and then afterwards we can have sex in that position and it's great. In other words, I can tell it's not a medical issue because I know the smell goes away when I take care of the washing. But we have tried the position immediately after she showers alone, and it's the same problem. I want to just bring it up very gently but directly, but she has some insecurities in the bedroom, and I don't want to shatter her confidence. Part of me thinks I just take this information to the grave, and we only do that position after we shower together. And before this subreddit starts to analyze the quality of our relationship and communication, I love her with all my heart and this is not a deal breaker. No doggy sex except on special occasions is reasonable for me. But, it would be a nice bonus to improve the situation. Too long did not read. But smells in doggy position, even right after a shower. Can I ever bring it up or do I take this information to the grave? Why are grown adults not washing their ass? I had to have this talk with my ex over and over, and he still thought that just the suds from washing his torso would take care of it. It got to the point where I just flat out refused to give him oral because he stank of unwashed balls and booty skull. Buying a bidet would probably be the best option. I love mine, especially when I'm on my period and don't want to take a second or a third shower. I feel so much cleaner after hosing off the blood mess. I swear I've seen this exact post before. Tell her that her booty is stinky and to start washing between the cheeks in the shower and to use wipes and or a bidet. You shouldn't have to wash your partner's shitty butthole before sex to keep yourself from dry heaving. She's an adult. Time for her to learn how to clean the body properly. I know some smell is expected. No. There should be no ass smell. Buy her a bidet see if it helps. They're relatively cheap you just attach them to your existing toilet. 